example, you may live there, but how much do you know about the community of Akakik? For example, the name means at the edge of the hill, and Native Americans inhabited the area for thousands of years. Well, you can find out more interesting facts in a book written by local Arthur Kenneth Bryson, who joins us in studio now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, Mr. Bryson, you're currently the president of the Friends of Akakik Library. Is that what inspired you to write the book, which is appropriate, appropriately called Akakik? Well, that's how I was contacted by the publisher. They ask, is there somebody in Akakik who can work with us on uh, pictorial history? And I'm the one. So this book actually goes all the way back to the 1600s and then goes forward to today. Talk to us about some of the highlights, some of the things that maybe you didn't know until you started researching for the book. Well, there's a lot that I didn't know, even though I've lived in the area for a long time. Uh, Akakik has been there at least since the middle of the 1600s. Uh, there are two churches in Akakik, one uh, the Catholic Church, St. Mary's of Piscataway, that has been there since 1640, and the other is the Episcopal Church. Uh, Christ Episcopal that's been there since 1698, and they were tremendously helpful in writing this book. Wow. Now you touch on some cultural aspects of the community. Tell us about some. Well, it's interesting that even though Akakik is a relatively small community with about 10,000 people now, there are a number of well-known artists in Akakik. One of them, Alice Ferguson, is the person that the Alice Ferguson Foundation is named for. And a number of her paintings are in the house that's now occupied by the staff. But there are a number of more recent um, famous people, both um, artists and musicians. Any other interesting historical tidbits that you know you might share that may surprise our viewers? Well, one of them that surprised the the director of the a. Alice Ferguson Foundation is that among people who were part of Fergie's gang who came out to play volleyball was somebody named Jack, and it's fairly clear from the context that Jack is John F. Kennedy. Uh, she didn't even know that John Kennedy came out to the um, hard bargain farm to play volleyball. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> and being so close to D.C., you know, it would definitely, you know, I realize that there's so much history here. And these are the churches that you were talking about. Tell us what we're looking at right here in the pictures. Well, in that picture is um, the Christ Episcopal Church at the top, and at the bottom is uh, a house called Edelin House uh, in the beginning, which is the oldest and most um, prominent structure in Piscataway Historic Village. So tell us, what do you hope readers will walk away with uh, who decide to pick up the book? Well, a lot of people will walk away with pictures of themselves uh, or pictures of their relatives from years ago. One of the uh, people that I talked to at the uh, book fair at um, the library uh, turned through the book and she said, oh, that's me in the picture. I said, oh, well, that, that's you as a young girl. She said, that's me last year. So there are a lot of things that people will see, uh, relatives from years ago. There's even a picture from Canterbury School of the class from 50 years ago with all of the students and all of the staff members identified. Wow. Have people come out, do people help you collect these images? There are so many wonderful pictures in here that really take you back to the olden times. Where did you get all these? How long did it take you to collect them? Well, it took me a year and a half to collect all of the photographs. The most difficult is getting photographs from local residents. People are reluctant to let go of their family photos. Uh, other things came from archives, uh, National Archives and Records Administration, Library of Congress, and so forth. But um, for a lot of people, the old family photos are the things that they'll turn to first. Have you always been, had an interest in history? No. <laughs> no, I, my interest in, I'm a statistician, so uh, I worked at the Census Bureau for 35 years. Uh, but getting involved in this book certainly got me interested in, in history, local history, and, and more generally history. Oh, right. And hopefully it'll inspire others as well. I hope sure so. That, that's my purpose. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, ladies. And to find out more about the book and, uh, and to get a copy of Akakik, you can log on to ArcadiaPublishing.com.